Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Tim. Today we're playing a little bit of No One's Alive. It is raining like hell out, holy shit. I already have water obviously set up and some power. We've got solar, wind turbine. Now it is storming. Yeah, 240 watts. General baseline on this it generates 60 watts and then if it's storming, obviously creates more power. This is not even running at the moment. My battery bank, which I just recently fully upgraded. One side is almost fully charged, and then just got some more of these batteries here. Making some glass right now so I can finish my refrigerator. That way I can store my produce in there. Hopefully it'll stay good a lot longer. So right now it's just kind of rinse and repeat. Um, build a little bit. Need to gather a bunch of supplies. I do have an NPC structure built. Saltpeter, which I'm not complaining, it's really what I need the most is saltpeter. I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if I need to have a pickaxe in that inventory or something. Let's try that, just to say we did. I don't think I need to put stuff in there. I think I gave her a 12 gauge and I did not give her any ammo, so let's play that one. And I can't put the pickaxe and the axe directly on her. Like she wants a shotgun out. Alright, put this in there. Will not go. So we'll stick that in there. Been set on the quarry for days now. That's why I don't understand why she's bringing me back logs and stuff. Maybe there's some kind of personal preference, like Sasha prefers gathering wood or something, but how would I know that? I, there's nothing, you can't interact with her or anything like that, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. But that's kind of where we're at. I was thinking about building a second solar array. We do have three 200 watt panels, a couple 50 water. Getting my fridge and stuff set up, so the demand is definitely going to be a lot higher. Okay, let's go ahead and throw these tomatoes and carrots in there before I forget about it. I'm pretty sure you can throw canned foods and stuff in there too. And it'll last longer, I guess. This stuff's already pretty bad. Drop all this over there. I took uh, one carrot, one tomato, and some water. Oh, I should have ate the other one. 
I'm curious to see. I've never had a fridge before. Really how it works or how much it helps save the food. I've heard it's quite a bit, but we'll kind of just have to test it out and see. A thousand watts. It's quite a bit of a power drain, so I'm definitely probably going to need to consider another power source. I mean, I could always run the generator to compensate. Look, that thing's noisy and it sounds like a turd. So I don't really want to run the generator all the time. But let me save this video and see if it's saved correctly. If not, you'll never even know about it because it's corrupted on my hard drive. So I will get back to you guys here in a little bit. Alrighty, so all looks good here. So looking at our batteries, we're definitely taking a hit. Granted, I just made that glass. I did fire up the generator just to kind of compensate a little bit. I'd like to get some power over here. I'm not really sure what the wattage to amp hours conversion rate is. Not very smart. But I do have the solar panels just sitting in a box, so I'm thinking I'm going to put up another array. Just to kind of boost the power a little bit. That way, if it's nighttime and then into a stormy day or whatnot, you know, we have a little bit more backed up reserves. Where do we want this thing out here? Alright, let's go with right there. And we need lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Probably don't have enough. Of course not. Of course not. See where that puts us at. Okay, two more wire, one more component, eight more copper. Um, <clears throat> not sure if I have enough stuff to make more advanced parts. Let's take a look at that here. I got some advanced parts. Cool. So I needed more copper. <laughs> and I already forgot what else I needed. Oh boy. Okay. A lot more copper. Might have some in the furnace. parts three more which is only one round we need like one of every kind of ingot there is score pretty sure that makes three so that'll loop that up put these back boom boom I've got this other bow on me because my bow that I have now is about to break. I'll we'll just go ahead and stick that there. Go ahead and grab my solar panels. bar is not correct it should be somewhere about done a 
Bingo. There's my three parts. Now let's get over here and finish this puppy up. It's an extra four hundred. Six hundred. 700 more power yeah it's only bringing 30 watts I've seen a little bit ago it was like 200 and 240 I believe okay nice now we need more solar panels imagine that this array is all three and two hundreds so it'd be nice to get it all to three hundreds and just slowly kind of upgrade you know phase out the 50s we always have the 50s on just a, a new setup in the background. Already producing power. Beautiful. Okay, so I got my garden planted. I don't have a greenhouse. I remember last playthrough with the greenhouse. It took a lot of glass. I think it takes glass to even research it. No, just iron ingots. But I think it takes like 30 glass to build, and that is a lot of limestone. A lot of limestone to make glass. So, unless I go out on a mining trip. But even my tech tree is pretty much full out. Still got quite a bit to do. I don't have an oil well set up yet. Or a breeding pen. A beehive. I haven't even found any honeycomb yet. And then honey. How do you get honey? Maybe if you like cook the honeycomb or something. So there's definitely still some stuff I need to unlock in here. And then all my skills are pretty much maxed out. I just found the last book for... Uh, I think it was either tailing or agricultural. Book 5. So I can actually train that up now. It's getting late, I'm getting tired, so we could study a little bit. Just to have a full s maxed out skill set. So I'm 34 days in on year one, but I have uh, my days set to long and my years set to like 360, so pretty realistic on the time frame. Just like a nice slow build playthrough. I do remember in the summertime it gets really hot and then your character is always thirsty or overheating so you have to strip off armor and whatnot, which is cool. And then in the winter, which I've never even played through a winter playthrough, but I can only imagine that you're going to be cold so you need stuff that has cold resistance on it. Which a lot of, you know, winter clothing and jackets and stuff like that or winter hats have a, a good cold resistance. That's the kind of stuff I like, you know, it makes it real. If you're freezing or you're too hot, you're gonna actually take um, thirst damage and physical damage. Just another added element to deal with. I'm trying to get my mood up right now. I'm smoking lots of ciggies. And just like that, all our skills are finally maxed out. Check these guys. These should be about all finished burning. It's my brick maker. 
I want to burn through all the clay because you need it to make glass. So we got aluminum. struggling with silver there a little bit because um, you need it to make the advanced parts and with this playthrough I have I've come across advanced parts I can't say that I haven't but it uh, looks like loot respawned cool got my medieval Garmin not sure what to do with these deer heads and stuff is there like a some kind of mounting or yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, there is. Cool. That's definitely cool. Do the slaughterhouse. Well, of course, they don't let me build on that. Some bitches. Got a nice rack on her. Alrighty, so let's go sleep in the mud. So bring us to about eight o'clock at night. Be nice and dark out. Where's Sasha at? Sasha! Are you sleeping, Sasha? Oh, got her little masturbation bear there, though. Sasha! Sasha, where are you? Sasha! Sasha, are you still working? <coughs> Sasha? There's a fucking bed in here. Why does it say I only have one bed? Fuck you, game. Sasha! Oh, look, another bed. I should have three fucking beds. That's bullshit. Where is this bitch at? Sasha! 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 Hmm. I thought she walked around at night. Maybe they disappear at night. I don't know. Yeah, one bed. Like, come on, really? They should be able to sleep on that little cot. That is weird, though. I've never noticed her disappear before. And she is gone. When you're trying to build stuff, she likes to walk in your way all the time. Kind of drives me nuts. So if that's the case, then nighttime would be the time to build for sure. Trying to place this rack here. Oh man, it took me forever to get it down because she just kept walking, 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 walking right in front of me. Like, are you trying to get my attention? Do you want to say something? Are your wages not good enough? Like, what is going on, Sasha? So that's kind of cool to know. So there you go. Yeah, NPCs despawn at nighttime and no one survived. Oh, wait. I lied. There she is. Going to bed, he lies. She must have been out walking around the street. It's like the only spot I didn't check. Working her corner. Now she could have been taking a bath. You gonna get cleaned up, Sasha? Ready for bed? Like nine o'clock at night. Just got my 
go grab a beer. Got some fermented alcohol finally. Where did it go? Wait, what? What did I need the fermented alcohol for? see that it's used for is the alcohol which I definitely don't need that huh yeah I'm not sure about that it's kind of driving me low-key nuts but there's nothing... It's nothing else, I don't know, man, I'm fucking lost. I am lost. Okay, well, that's a fucking waste. <laughs> that I needed it for f the fuel bottles but it's oil you need for the fuel bottles so not sure what that kind of shit I was smoking but at least now I know I don't have to focus so heavily on weed I can actually do some other crops yeah so as soon as these guys are done I got tomatoes and carrots so we'll throw in something a little different Do can make alcohol with corn, but I don't really need alcohol now. I used it for the mood before. I mean, it does replace thirst a little bit. I think the cucumbers are completely worthless. Um, last time, though, you can even use them in a cooking recipe. So I think I'll do a little potatoes. Uh, herbs, that'd be a good one. Cotton, don't really see the need. Maybe strawberries, but I don't know if you can cook with strawberries. I haven't, I haven't experimented with the cooking system quite enough yet. So I'll have to play around with that and see. time one o'clock in the morning check our batteries okay they're coming up I was worried putting that fridge on there would really drain it but as far as active power the only thing would be the fridge running even the water pump shuts on and off check our water levels Oh, wheat's done. Four fifty six. You can just pump water and walk away. It will shut off. It won't blow up. <laughs> Thank God. Gonna need some fertilizer. And did I grab the seeds? No, I did not. So we talked about strawberries, not cotton. Could do one herb. One potato? Let's do that.
I know, I mix clean water with dirty water. Shame on me. I'll oh, just come right in here and cook it right up. Yeah, this thing's about to break. Just gonna leave those. The other ones are like 50% water, the two plants. Um, it did just finish raining, so we might not get rain for a day or two. So I'll just have to remember to check on them. But the last batch did okay. I did the same thing. Started off at about 50% water capacity. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't need all that wheat. I definitely need to get some animals, huh? 9, 18, 27. So we're just going to go ahead and reseed that up. Hopefully that's not a mistake. I mean, it takes like 15 in game days to harvest, so that's quite a bit of time. Quite a bit of time. Got my fishing rod. You guys want me to show you how to do some fishing? Maybe we'll do that. But probably in the next episode. Just wanted to do a little trial run. This is my build and no one survived. Thanks you guys for joining in and I will catch you on the flip side.